Procura has a couple main areas that I like to differentiate and what's beneficial. And the first and probably the most commonly used is the idea of using Procura for really acute damaged corneas. And this can be for almost anything from infectious processes to abrasions to basically recurrent corneal erosions. And in this case, the big benefit is really the idea of speeding up the healing process, but moreover than that, really going at the idea of trying to enhance scarless healing. The other thing that we use Procara for on a routine basis is chronic disease states. And this would include stuff like recurrent corneal erosions, which can be a little bit more chronic, but stuff like dry eye as well. Significant recalcitrant dry eye that's non-responsive to other therapies works very well. One of the things that we're finding is we don't want to wait until end stage disease, especially with the chronic conditions, in that nothing responds well at end stage disease with any chronic disease. So allowing us to treat the disease state a little bit earlier really leads to quicker response times, especially for something like chronic dry eye. There's a host of different conditions that, uh, that can benefit. Uh, some of the main ones that we've used it on is, is herpetic conditions, and we find that it, it heals a lot faster. Some of the other ones that we've looked at uh, a little bit more intricately and, and used a lot is for patients with recurrent erosions or major epithelial defects. Uh, we had a patient in with about 80% 80, 80 of his cornea was gone, and we, we used the amniotic membrane for him and did a great job. Procara really took care of it and helped heal it much, much faster. We certainly utilize it for patients with dry eye. We're still finding new ones that we can use it on, but anything that helps to decrease inflammation, decrease scarring, and aids in the overall well-being of the corneal tissue.